What is up everybody? Welcome back to the Short and Sweet Gaming Channel. I'm Ryan and we're here with more Game of Thrones. Picking up where we left off after the opening scenes. We're in the Forester Lands, the King's Road now, carrying the sword still. Trying to get back to Iron Wrath, I think it was. There's a pig! Okay, so now we're actually controlling the character. Hello, pig. Blood. Blood. Uh oh. Is it fresh? Fresh. Yep. We think so much alike. What is this? Oh, a dead pig. Huh. Guess we're going towards the smoke over there. Hello, carriage. That's father's car. Uh oh. Bolton better give us fucking titles for this. Winter may be coming, but at least still have his bacon. Killing all my pigs. No belong, boy. There's nothing for you here. <laughs> Father, I said move on. I recognize you. You're a forester squire. Former Stark Bannermen have no claim on land anymore. Or haven't you heard? The Starks are dead. Where'd you get that sword? Not a chance that sword is his. Must have stolen it. Out here by himself? Probably a deserter. None of your fucking business. We're gonna feed you to the fucking pigs. Oh yeah? Let's go, bro. Sword's too big for you, boy. You can barely pick it up. Get off my land. This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new warden of the north. I reckon he'd like a proper lordly sword like that. Suck it. Can't have it. No. I'll have that sword, boy. You will have nothing. Fuck you. Uh-oh. Alright. Finish this fucking pig farmer. Pathetic. Pitchfork, get up. Ooh, axe. Nope. How's your head? Does it hurt? Because there's an axe in it. <clears throat> nope. Nope. Haha, uh -huh. too big for you too, asshole. <clears throat> Ow, shit. Oh, no you don't. I ain't going down that easily. Kill him. No, nah, fuck you. Beg of you. No. I, I, have a family. I don't care. So did I. You just stabbed me. him. I have no quarrel nope. with you. Nope. Fuck you. No, please. <laughs> Lord Whitehill will see you hang for this. That much I promise. <laughs> <clears throat> I was gonna say, what about him? Father. 
Garrett, you survived. Your sister. She hid. I tried to stop them. I'll kill the men who did this. You just killed two of them. <laughs> All right, Iron Wrath. Here we go. It looks like paintings. That's kind of the art style. I guess Wolf Among Us is more cartoony. The Walking Dead was kind of cartoonish. No, this is more like painted. Like the backgrounds, you can tell are definitely painted. Tell him his nephew survived. Carrot. I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the maester. Meet us in the great hall quickly. All right. Two White Hill soldiers and a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she... She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. Blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Sounds good. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. It was justice. They got what they deserved. Damn indeed, straight. Indeed. We can't let the White Hills just walk all over us. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Maggots will help prevent infection for me, would you? Hold it open. Oh, get ready for some nasty shit there, people. Oh. That's good. Now sew it back up. These are dark days, I fear. To lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Our house will never fall. By the gods, let's hope you're right. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. The hell is right. Lord Ethan? Uh, this might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. Roderick had already fallen. There was nothing we could do. Hmm. Well, I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house. I or low. Okay, so we're going to end that there. I know it's mid-conversation, but again, short and sweet gaming, 10 minutes or less. we got to end this one now. So that's it for now. Leave a like if you enjoyed this episode of Game of Thrones. Subscribe to the channel so you can see when new episodes are released. And I'll see you all in part four here on Short and Sweet Gaming.